The winner of tonight's custodian challenge is Streets. So these trees are the new custodian of the house. I believe we all know the news right now that the trees are the new custodian of the house. And with this comes immunity. That means they are safe from possible eviction come someday. And guys, that is not the only thing they want. They want the ability. They want the power of influence, which Big Brother will be breaking down through the course of this week. But that is not why I'm here. I'm here to talk about the boss boss the drama the unnecessary drama that followed immediately after the custodian challenge but before i do that let me talk about how they emerged the winner of this uh, custodian how they became the winner of the custodian challenge because guys one thing i noticed about this house Mary, is that they they are they, are, they lack the capability of understanding big brother even when big brother gives the rules time and time again ask them to ask him question give give them the floor to ask him question they always make sure to misunderstand what big brother is saying take their wager tax presentation for example they misunderstood what big brother required them to do today again they misunderstood the rules thereby making big brother over overthink what was supposed to be an easy decision big brother had to overthink it so during the custodian challenge that happened right after the life eviction show that saw the tammy pair evicted by the housemate big brother had called his housemate into the arena and inside the arena big brother set out 13 blocks and in that blocks there's something like a hook there's something like a uh there's something like a rod there's a hook and then there's a balloon set out so in that setup Big Brother demanded that both pair will be playing the game at the same time. But one will be a fisher, one will be an assembler. I'm going to explain what that means. So what that means is in that, that in the arena, one of the housemates will be blindfolded, which will be the fisher, and the, and the, and the uh, blindfolded housemate will now fetch for a rod, fetch for a knot and a washer in a pool filled with water and balloon. Then they assembler will be the guide guide the fisher on how to use the rod the hook and the magnet to fetch what big brother required them which is the knot and the washer so immediately they get the knot and the washer they have to replicate uh, what big brother had already shown them in a box now once you are done replicating the ten, this is where big brother was confused and this housemate lost all their senses of reasoning so once you are once you are done replicating that tighten the screw tighten the knot tighten the washer you don't have to raise it up show it big brother then go and sit down immediately you sit down your time stops but this housemate they messed it up ben was supposed to be the first housemate to finish but he was having issue nothing is not uh, screwing his knots together thereby mayor frosh joined him did his faster instead of mayor frosh to go straight into uh to instead of mayor forge to drop what he has assembled and go straight to his bench and sit down mayor forge was there standing waving his uh, uh hey, big brother i'm done big brother and big brother was like didn't you hear when i said you your time stops counting immediately you sit down now by then almost three or four housemates we are done uh, coupling all their uh, material so all of them four of them five of them rushed sat down now big brother is confused with the viewers we are confused because we don't know who sat down first we don't know if big brother is going to choose who come uh, who coupled the rod who coupled the knot and the watch at first or who sat down first now for big brother to not uh, not to cause commotion or cause a rift between the housemates big brother decided to choose who assembled the their component first thereby announcing Mayor Forge of the streets as the winner of this week's custodian challenge. And guys, I am so, 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 so happy for them. Imagine being, uh, face, being at the face of defeat, being at the jaws of defeat. Because this housemate, if two housemates were evicted, according to the number of votes that they got, guys, it was Tammy and the streets that will be living today. But imagine being safe and then ending up having the power to influence the game and being immune for 
one more week guys that is i'm just overjoyed for them i just overjoyed i have massive joy for them and i can see how they will use what they want to their advantage this week so talking about the boss boost that happened so immediately they were done with the challenge all we started hearing was a uh, ben uh, you know ben is a cheerful person throughout the history of this game ben has been known to be that person that is always laughing that person that's always a jolly good fellow but today i saw ben in a different light ben was angry ben was pissed off even when all the housemates are trying to calm him down telling him hey calm down calm down ben was pissed off and if you feel like okay ben why are you pissed off are you pissed off to other housemates no it was his own partner ben was pissed off to his own partner and the reason for that his reason is valid because tell me why i'm friends with you tell me why we go into a competition together and we end up losing do you feel like i want us want us to lose no i don't want us to do i want us to do good but if my ability to do good is not good enough and we end up losing why will you rub it in my face why will you make make that kind of statement because the statement tj made was the statement TJ made to Ben was, so you let these guys win you. Why did you let these guys win you? Like, it doesn't make sense. In a way, I understand where Ben is coming from. Ben is that kind of person that wants everything to be perfect. And according to him, to his explanation, that before the game started, he had, he had, he had explained to Ben how to assemble the whole knot and washer faster. And Ben agreed that he can do it faster. So that's why he let Ben do it. But to see that Ben was struggling to assemble the whole knot and the washer, it kind of pissed him off. But for Ben, Ben was angry that TJ couldn't read, read the room. That TJ's uh, statement was kind of condescending. That the way TJ put it, he felt like he just did it on purpose by letting Mayor Forge win. But it was not the case. He tried his best and his best wasn't good enough. So guys, let me know what are your thoughts with the whole bus boost. Because for me, I felt like the way both of them handled it, it was good. But the way TJ kind of tried to escalate things, it wasn't necessary. It wasn't necessary. Yes, we the viewers, we demand drama. We the viewers, we want bus boost. But creating unnecessary drama, that is not going to fly with us, the viewers. Create a buzz boss that we will talk for long. Create a buzz boss that will leave a lasting memory to us. Not just because you failed a task, you become a soul loser. Because throughout yesterday, after the custodian challenge, the way TJ was, you can see him, you can see him in his feeling, just sitting all moody. You can't be a soul loser in a show like Big Brother. There are still weeks to come, unless you leave the, on Sunday. There are weeks to come. There are many challenges that, even if you don't win this one today, all you have to do is improve your skills, improve, improve your ability to perform, and then wait for the next task, because you might win that next task. But the way he handled the whole thing, getting a, joy, a joyful fellow like Ben to show his bad side, guys, that is what I am against. But let me know what your thoughts are down below. Do you feel like TJ... Uh, questioning Ben's ability in the game was necessary and do you think that the way Ben handled, handled it was necessary? What is your thought about this whole wild goes? And guys, we can't wait to see how this week's on, how this week unfold. Remember, very soon this housemate will start and Big Brother will give them the task for the week and how this week will go to the team and everything. And I'll be sure to be dropping that video. So if this is your first time coming across my channel, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe, Make sure that you share your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let's have a dialogue about what went on during the Custodian Challenge. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.